This is something that I have missed out on for two weeks straight now. I am not missing it this week. I'll do a chives and a bacon. Okay, we're good to go. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Three things. Number one, bacon glazed donuts are delicious. Number two, I got this package from a sick company out in California, Illa Manila, doing it for the Filipino culture. Got a button, another button, this shirt, this shirt, this shirt, and this yellow shirt. Illa Manila, thank you so much for hooking it up. You guys are dope, definitely check them out. They're an awesome company. Doing it for the culture, if you know what I mean. And the third thing is this board that we unboxed on the live stream. Haven't had the chance to check it out yet, but this is the this is the Vareal F1, 8.7 miles of range, 23.6 miles per hour. Haven't tried it out yet, but that's what we're gonna do today. I just got a guest, a visitor. What's up, Stoke Squad? Long time no see. What is you this? You can have a donut. Ooh, is this a taste test? It is so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> This for real board seems fast. So we're out here starting off our day in DC in East Potomac Park. Shimmer's right here. What's up? He's riding the Stoke board. I'm gonna be testing out the Varel F1 for the first time ever. Just kind of doing like a little first impression type video on here, day in the life out in DC, exploring, starting off here. We're gonna check out some monuments and just have a good time. It's hot out. Really hot, 90 <laughs> degrees. Let's go. In the wind, it actually feels really good out, but yeah, there's been this crazy heat wave out here on the East Coast. DC has been hit especially hard. It's the humidity that makes it feel terrible because it might be 95 degrees out, but with the humidity, it's like 115 degrees. As soon as you walk out, it's like... Washington Monument. Jefferson Memorial. Oh, it's not like solid. This is like, this is mud. Ugh. Oh, we gotta play limbo with this tree right here. Hello, duck action. <laughs> this is the only solid ground right by the water. So we gotta have good balance over here. Here we are. This is actually my first time here at the Jefferson Memorial. Pretty crazy how close you are to the water here. You could literally just fall in. Oh, brake test, brake test, brake test. Oh, that was pretty close. My anxiety has not been this high. Do a trick right here. No. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't get as much love as the Lincoln Memorial. It's literally just as pretty. Yeah. And less people. And less people. Definitely a cool spot. Not as lively as the Lincoln Memorial. It's more calm. More Very peace. calm. Like, I could meditate in there. Definitely. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Definitely check it out if you're in D.C. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Those things attack people! Wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we found something in the middle of the bike path and I just have to do something. I think this is it. I think I found it. I think the rock is the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Memorial. <laughs> oh, wall sets are hard. <laughs> but this place is like the perfect skate spot. Nice marble floors, marble ledges everywhere. 
but you can't skate on government property. Definitely don't do that out in DC. There's like 20 different types of cops out here. FBI, CIA, park police, police police, DC police, pants police, party police. <laughs> you can't do that stuff out here, even though it's so perfect. And worst of all, mall cops. And mall cops. Yeah. Paul Blart. If there's one thing I can give DC, it's that the monuments out here are really pretty. And I've heard from security around here that you're allowed to be on your skateboard, on any type of skateboard, on the government property. You're just not allowed to do tricks. So if you're just cruising by, you're good to go. You're safe. So DC is a very, very commuter friendly city for skateboarding. Otherwise, there's only a few spots to street skate out here without getting in trouble. But then again, that's all part of the fun of street skating. So do what you want. But either way, it's a beautiful city to explore and we're gonna continue to do so, heading to one of the most popular monuments around. One thing that I can appreciate about a hub motor board like this is that it's easy to push like a regular longboard when riding through crowded places like this. Here at the wharf, pretty crowded, lots of people, lots of bars. Never been here before, but it seems like a really cool spot. All right, so I've ridden the Varel board for a few miles now, and it was pretty much as expected. It rides like almost every other Chinese board which isn't a bad thing because those boards are pretty good. Now, the one thing about this board in particular that makes it a little different in my opinion is the shape of the board. As you can see, the deck has a lot of concave. So when you're riding it around, you just feel really, really, really locked in on this board. Good solid board, very low profile over there. One thing I do want to test on this board though is its waterproofness. <laughs> that was a pretty fun way to cool off. Round two, round two. That was fun. <laughs> you want to do it? No, I'm good. <laughs> did, I, did that miss me? <laughs> I needed to take a shower anyway. That was nice. Soaked and stoked. Soaked and stoked. <laughs> Remember that concave I was talking about, how it really locks your feet in? Look at this, that bowl concave. Everything just collects right here, you're really locked in. I would say it works even better than ever. <laughs> it's just soaking wet. But we Gucci. You want to try this one out? Let's do it. As you can see, I'm like not used to using electric skateboards. So like, but I'm getting transitioned quickly into this board. All right, ready? I'm gonna go faster. I'm a novice electric skateboarder, but like this was just so easy to ride. You know how fast I go. Yeah. Like, I pushed this through the throttle and I felt super comfortable. Like, I didn't feel like I was going to crash or anything. Woo! So Shimmer has been on the stoked board all day and he was going pretty slow, but he seems to be much more comfortable on the wider board, the wider, bigger board. That's for sure. Tell people about your YouTube channel, what you do. YouTube.com slash Shimmer I vlog a lot. I make a lot of jokes and funny things and yeah, funny vlogging on my channel. Be sure to check it out. <laughs> Woo! Whoa, okay. We've gone six and a half miles, has about one bar of distance, and it actually went a bit faster than the top speed specs listed on the site. We went 25 miles per hour on this board. 
which is a good thing. It's fast. The biggest win on this board is, of course, the shape of the deck itself. The concave really locks your feet in. You can feel really comfortable even at higher speeds. Shimmer can testify yeah, to as, that. As a novice, like I'm not used to going that fast, but with this board, I was actually really comfortable using it. And I've ridden a bunch of boards from China before. I would say this is definitely pretty good. <laughs> I don't have that much knowledge with electric skateboards, but I mean, uh, for this few I've tested with Ronnie, this is very comfortable and easy to use. Yeah, you look good on it. Oh, thank you. You look real good on it. As a matter of fact, you can have it. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, you can have it. You're lying. No, you can have it. No. You know dude. I don't lie when I do these dude, things. You can't, bro. I'm no. You can have it. No, I can't. You can take it from me. No, stop. Dude. I like it, but you can have it. No. No, oh, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> bro, what the heck? <laughs> you can have this board. Are you sure? I mean. Yeah, I'm sure. No. <laughs> bro. You cry? <laughs> no, I'm not crying. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, Holy of crap, I wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah? All right, guys, Holy thank crap. you so much for watching. Obviously, Shimmer's still shook about this whole thing, but the Varel board is good. He likes it. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe for new videos every week. And until next time, guys, stay stoked. We're out. Peace.